Scientific Notation Lesson 5 Notes. Example number 5. In 2012, the estimated population of California was about 4 times 10 to the 7th. The estimated population of Alaska was about 7 times 10 to the 5th. About how many times greater was the estimated population of California than the estimated population of Alaska in 2012? Well, they're telling us by the question that California is more populated than Alaska. You know anything about geography, Alaska, the landmass is much greater than California. But um, California is heavily populated compared to Alaska. So <clears throat> the first thing I'd like you to do is I would like you to underline about how many times greater. Okay, when it asks us to find about how many times greater, what we're going to use to solve this is division. So pause your video and get that written down. Okay. Well, if I'm going to use division, I'm going to take the larger number and divide it by the smaller number. I can't have a negative population. So I'm going to have to take the larger number divided by the smaller number. Well, when you look at these, which one is the larger number? Is it 4 times 10 to the 7th, or, if it's, or is it 7 times 10 to the 5th? Well, it is 4 times 10 to the 7th. So go ahead and circle that, what I just highlighted. And the reason why that's the larger number is because it has the larger exponent. So pause your video, get that written down. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 4 times 10 to the 7th and divide it by the smaller number of 7 times 10 to the 5th. Now, we're going to start using our calculator to do problems like this. So far, you should not have used a calculator at all. Now we're going to start using a calculator. If you're using the calculator at school, there's this great button that helps you put in scientific notation. Let me get to the picture of it. All right. It's the times 10 to the nth button. We've used that already. We've used that when we were taking and going from an improper fraction to a mixed number. I said times 10 to the nth multiple times. That is the scientific notation button. And what it does, it allows you to quickly put in your calculator scientific notation. So if I wanted to put in um, 4.5 times 10 to the fifth, I would put in 4.5, and then I would hit that button, and then all I'd have to do is then put in the exponent. So if you're using the school calculator or one like the school calculator, that is the button you would want to use. It makes it very, very easy to put in scientific notation. If you have more questions on how to use that to enter it into the calculator, you know, just feel free to has or feel free to ask, don't hesitate. All right. Let's go back to the problem. All right. So, since I want to show you how to do this, I'm going to use the calculator on the iPad. I want to start by putting in the fraction button. If you were using the school calculator, you would start by using the fraction button. And then I would put 4. If you're using the school calculator, you would hit that times 10 to the nth button. Since I'm using this one, I'm going to put times 10. And then I have to go to the exponent there, put in a 7, over arrow, over arrow to get to the bottom. 7 times 10 to the fifth. Hit enter, and you get this decimal number. So, sorry, that was about to show a commercial, so instead I'll just tell you what it is. So the decimal number we get is 57.1. Two, eight, and then it keeps going. 
So 57.1428. Now it says what is the estimated, how many times greater is, was the estimated? When you see the word about up here, we see the word about, that means we're not going to put down 57.1427 or 28, blah, blah, blah. We're going to make this a nice, easy number to work with, all right? So since it's 57.1, that means it's closer to 57. So my final answer is going to be California's population is about 57 times greater than Alaska's population. So the key part of this answer is, first of all, the word about, about 57 times greater. If all you wrote down was about 57 times greater, I would take it. If you forget the word about, if you forget times greater, then I'd be taking points off. You have to make sure you have about 57 times greater. So again, I took the larger number, divided it by the smaller number, I put it in the calculator, got the 57.1428, I kept going, and then I rounded it to 57 to get my answer. If you have any questions on example number five, please let me know.